Mm. If I'm gonna give you my top three sexy tips, first I gotta start you off with the sex playlist. My secret to keeping it spicy in the bedroom is, I, it's, I guess it's, it's not vain, but you just wanna always look good, you know? To keep it spicy, you have to have your partner wanting to keep it spicy. If I give him the look, then I think that's all the spice we need. I mean, we've been here for 15 years. Uh, yeah, we don't need any whips, any chains, you know? You just gotta, you gotta know which buttons to push with, you, with your mate. He tried to pull out the ropes from last, the last season. <laughs> <laughs> there were ropes involved somewhere. We'd be like around the house. He's like, I'm gonna get those ropes out. I'm like, okay. And then our daughter found the ropes. And she was like, what are these for? We like told her something and she was like playing with them. We're like, this is inappropriate. Now, honestly, would you, you think Tamika would let me tie her up? Not nah, gonna happen. Could you imagine tying me up? You can't tie me up. I can't keep still. Like how are you gonna find the hands to put tie me up? It's not gonna work. You try tying me up. It's not, it's no. There's no getting control of this one here. Keep it unpredictable. Be spontaneous. Perform as if it's your last performance, because you never know if you're going to get another shot. OK, number one, you got to take the sex outside the bedroom. Missionary is not the go-to move. No, no, no. Go to the refrigerator. Open the refrigerator. Crack an egg. Start painting while you're having sex. Matter of fact, while you're having sex, do everything you would do while you're not having sex. The next thing is, make sure your playlist is right. If you can't dance to the song you're playing while you're having sex, it's probably not a good song. And number three, it's 2019, fellas. Especially if you're married, eat the booty. Come on, man, because what you're not doing, somebody else is going to do. You're going to lose your girl. Ooh. Let's see, keeping it spicy in the bedroom. Being very attentive to your partner. I think that is very key. And knowing how your partner is reacting and what's going on. That's the key. Don't be selfish. I don't think I have any secrets about keeping it spicy in the bedroom. Justin's really attracted to me. He really likes all this. We got some, <laughs> some stuff going on down here too. Um, Justin and I have a really good time together and we just have a natural chemistry and I am truly attracted to him too whether you know even before he lost all of his weight I just think he is the cutest thing ever so I always just want to be around him and that's our spice just truly liking each other and loving spending time together that's a good one. Uh, being spontaneous all over the house I think being spontaneous and uh, you know when you feel it coming go for it don't wait, you know, at, for bedtime or morning time or when you feel it, go for it. I'm just terrible at talking about sex and like intimacy and relationship. It makes me want to like run for the hills. Like, I, I don't know. I can't. My mom would be embarrassed. My dad would be humiliated. Southern ladies don't talk about things like that. Is it really that uncommon? Staying friends with your ex is just a conscientious decision that you make. Marriage, not doing well at this time. I'm divorced. I have to ask about the boyfriend. There's no Prince Charming at this time. I think that you have to value the time you spent with somebody and find your commonalities like after the split. I'm happy for her. She's happy for me. Like there's a reason you were together in the first place. You were friends. There's never a happy ending. What does that mean? If you just go into it with that in mind, it's easier. It's easier on everybody. When's the last time you messed up? Eight months. Top three things to staying friends with your ex. Forget everything. Reagan free. Uh, free of everything. Uh, number two, deny everything. Will you marry me? At least ask me to marry you. Number three, move forward. Is Jeff now? Jeff, come back, please. Without them. The Orleans is the first city that I haven't been kicked out of a bar in. New Orleans is the best Southern Charm City for multiple reasons. Our food, our culture, the women. Come on, this is a city like no other, baby. And when you come to New Orleans, you'll never want to leave. New Orleans is the best Southern Charm City because it has way, way, way more exciting and entertaining things every day. To me, this is literally like the only city that you can get food, music, live music, uh, carnivals, Art is a very crafty, creative city. There's a, a festival every weekend. It's fried chicken fest, oyster fest, po' boy fest, like beignet festival. Any, any kind of food that we make here 
it's a festival for it. It's a melting pot of culture, it's a melting pot of attitude, it's a melting pot of people. New Orleans is the first city that I haven't been kicked out of a bar in. They bring it to another level. We have such an eclectic, like, di diverse class of people. We have black, you have white, you have old, you have young, you have, like, gay, you have straight, you have, like, everybody. It's all in one. Once you land here, step on the city grounds, you'll understand. It gets in your soul. It's a party. It's the music. It's the entertainment. It's everything. We have the best food. We have the most rockin' music. We have the Saints, we have the French Quarter, we have Mardi Gras, and we have the most gorgeous ladies. And last but not least, we got me, Justin Reese Esquire. I think we're all unique in our own ways, but New Orleans definitely has an edge given that the people are just nicer. It's just a warmer city. I feel like we have the best hospitality in the country. Everyone that comes here just feels like it's their home. They could live here. They, they relate to at least one part of the city, you know, from like the history behind how the city was born and then up until what we're doing now, they're building all these buildings and there's new restaurants and there's always something to do. It's just, it just has something for everyone.